my India. Do you think there is a way to reflect the Phoenix attacks back at the Phoenix? Like I said, man, I'm not really convinced that the Phoenix is, is a really bad thing. Is it harrowing? Yes. To the living dead, to those who are not awakened, yeah, it's it, it, it's terrible. But I will say this. In the book of Jasher, one of the books, man, that uh, academia tries to denigrate, in the book, in four copies have been found from the ancient world. The last in the 1800s was found in Gonza of Persia. But uh, the book of Jasher... The chronology in the book of Jasher is impeccable. Stephen Jones broke it down and wrote a book called The, Stephen, the Secrets of Time, and he used the Jasher uh, chronographical material, and he dates an event where it says that the sun darkened and a mighty earthquake shook all the cities of the sons of men, and men grew terrified, and they hid and they ran, as Jacob led his sons, 12 sons of Israel, and their sons, just their immediate families, against, against the Canaanites. This is not the conquest of Canaan after the Exodus event of Moses. This was before they ever went to Egypt in the book of Jasher. And Stephen Jones is absolutely convinced from the chronographical material that this occurred in the year 1687 B.C. And he dates this because in the Jasher text, this is the exact same event that followed the rape of Dinah when the Canaanite men of Sheshem raped a daughter of Israel. Named, named Dinah. His, the sons of Jacob came together and they said, man, we're going to kill these guys. And they did. They went in there to kill the, guy, the men of Shisham. Then the surrounding Canaanites were pissed and they all assembled seven huge armies and the Israelites, well, there really wasn't, wasn't any Israelites. It was just Jacob and his 12 sons and a few of their sons. So, they're, they, they know they're outmatched, and all of a sudden, Jacob prays to God. In the book of Jasher, there is an incident where Jacob looks up to the sky, prays to God, asks for deliverance. All of a sudden, the sun darkens. Now, this is what happened. This event did not really happen. These few men did not overcome the Canaanites in this way. What this is, is a rabbinical text taking an actual historical Phoenix episode event where Canaanites were destroyed from rocks falling from the sky. And interpolated into the text was a Jewish hero, Jacob and his sons, who, who made a prayer to God. And this is what the entire Bible of the Old Testament is. All these historical cataclysm and reset events where rabbis introduced Jewish uh, characters in these events. It didn't happen that way. There was a Phoenix episode in 1687 BC. Stephen Jones is absolutely correct in the chronography. However, in the in the in the uh, Phoenix chronology, 552 years, a Phoenix cycle of 138 times four. Is 1687 BC after the great flood which occurred in 2239 BC. That can't make that up. I have published the 138 year periodicity of the Phoenix in many different areas on charts in published books and in my in my videos. So Stephen Jones, not knowing anything of the Phoenix chronology, accurately dated a Phoenix episode and perfectly described it. But the Jasher account isn't really real. It's a Jewish narrative that was using real historical chronology and they were inserting all these Jewish characters. We don't know if Atreus was real, but he predicted a Phoenix episode and the people chose Atreus to rule the throne of Argos over his brother. And his brother was next in line to be king, but Atreus has said in the ancient Achaean traditions published by Robert Graves, that Atreus was an astronomer and a mathematician, and he calculated the exact date when the sun would darken, there would be earthquakes and all kinds of shit, and it happened. Thales of Miletus is specifically said by Herodotus of Halicarnassus in the histories written 440 years B.C. to have been a Phoenician by remote descent, which was an Israelite. And Thales predicted the exact date of the darkening of the sun. It is said by Pliny that he predicted it within this, the same day. Uh, the prediction was made in 585 B.C. And Herodotus says that the prediction was two years in the future. And it came to pass. And we have many historical records for the sun darkening in 583 B.C. And we have actual eclipse computation com computer software that proves the event was not an eclipse of the moon. It's on the Phoenix timeline. 
Tulsa happens to be the exact date that the Japanese and the Greek Delphic Oracle changed their calendars. They did it for good reason. So, uh, I don't remember why I'm talking about this. What somebody asked me that made me go off on this detail. Something about the Phoenix. No, I don't believe we can change the Phoenix. I believe the Phoenix is fixed. Nor do I believe that it's as bad as we think. The sixth seal of the apocalypse. Remember seals. Remember what a seal is. When somebody puts a seal on something in ancient times, it is, first of all, it was a symbol of protection. It protected that product because there's a seal of ownership on it. The apocalypse is not the seven seals. That's Christian eschatology. That's Christian misinterpretation of the older Zoroastrian and Sibylline oracle prophecies. The book of Revelations was never a Christian document. Students of the Gnosis were already familiar with the Revelation record before Christianity ever came about. Christians later made up the fiction that John on the Isle of Patmos in the year 96 AD wrote, wrote, wrote the book of Revelation after seeing a deal. He may have only wrote the first seven chapters, which are the letters to the seven churches, but the main body of the prophetic text is far older than Christianity. The symbols that are used in the book of Revelation cannot be found in ancient Greek texts. The symbols that are found all throughout the great bowls of wrath, the seal in the seals, the seven-headed hydra, the seven-headed dragon, the beast with seven faces, the even even the mentioning of the seven kings and the eighth who was of the seven. These these are not symbols that were familiar to the Hebrews. They're not familiar to the Israelites. They were not familiar to the Achaeans, the Greeks. No. The symbols used and the imagery used all throughout the prophecies of the book of Revelation are only found in ancient records in two sources. One are the Sumerian texts. The Sumerian texts were very familiar with those, but even more so, and this is very difficult for many people to, gather, to grasp, but the imagery, the, even, even down to the frogs coming out of people's mouths, all... The locusts, the men, the human faces, locust armor, wormwood. These are not in any known to any anything in the in the last four thousand years. We have to go back to five thousand year period to the vapor canopy period to understand all these symbols in the Book of Revelation, and even the Sumerian references to these symbols are copies from ancient. American traditions. It is in the legends of the Maya, the legends of the Quiche, the Olmecs, the Zapotec, even the Toltec and Aztecs later who preserve many of these elements on the stone of the fifth sun. It is the ancient American prophecies, legends, and traditions that give us an idea as the, to the meaning of what the book of Revelation is talking about. Because the Greeks didn't understand those symbols and the Hebrews didn't have a clue what those symbols were. They're not Christian iconography either. The book of Revelation is truly a prophetic text that could have only been interpreted by a civilization that had grown so advanced that it was able to pull forth from the past all the pieces of information it needed to to put the ciphers together to interpret the, what's being said. Said another way, the prophet Daniel in the Old Testament was very accurate. He said, in the last days, knowledge shall be increased. Christian prophecy says that the last days shall be as in the days of Noah, when all this information was known. The book of Revelation was truly meant to survive all these millennia to be mysterious and yet be interpreted by the very generation that was about to suffer the contents that's described. 